Hello everyone and welcome to my island Pumpkaboo. Yes we're building on Pumpkaboo today and I'm going to be building around my house area. Now if you watched my last video we are carrying on from there so if you haven't go watch that first. Now before we get started though I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jelly Bean family. Now let's get started with today's build. So I had no real plan for my house because to be honest I totally forgot about it until today and I was like oh my gosh I've got a space I'll put my house here. I was originally going to put something else here instead but it's okay we'll, we'll put my house here instead. A little bit of a change of plan doesn't hurt no one but yeah I'm just going to basically make it a spooky house. I think that's the best way to explain it. And I'm using the lovely path made by Colin Crossing of course that's also his road I've been using. If you follow Colin Crossing on Instagram you'll know he's just released a new path river code thing and oh my gosh it's absolutely stunning i can't wait to use it on a future island one day it's just beautiful he's literally the king of codes i swear to gosh he makes so many amazing codes but then so do a lot of other creators i don't know how people do it they're just so talented now by the way any of the other codes that i'm using in today's video including collins will be listed in the description down below so if you want to use them on your island you'll find them just down there by the way the lovely house you see in the background belongs to gaston he's not staying on my island surprise surprise i swear like every time we see a villager on my island i'm like they're not staying they're not staying near a dome no they're going i feel like a terrible landlord just constantly kicking people out but it's okay <laughs> they don't mind they go to a better place right someone's better island than mine now over here you can see this little ledgeway i'm actually going to be placing a ladder there later on and you'll see why in a later video i'm going to be doing like some little viewpoint section but i don't want to spoil it yet because that villager hasn't moved in so yeah i'm not going to say nothing also trying to decide who i want to be my neighbor because there is a space to the right side of my house which we're not going to decorate today because this is quite a large area in itself i don't know if i want kiki or tabby hmm I might go for Kiki, but I'm like, do I want Kiki to be on her own and be mysterious? And then move my sweet little pumpkin gal next door? Is she gonna have a pumpkin patch? But I'm having a pumpkin patch. Is that too many pumpkins? Is there such a thing as too many pumpkin patches? I don't think so. I mean, there's no such thing as too many pumpkins, like spooky lanterns and stuff. That That's not a thing. Hmm, my brain is telling me tabby but my heart's selling me kiki so i think i'm gonna have to go with kiki i gotta have my little witchy best friend next door right we'll see we'll see now at the front of the house i've decided to put these decorative pillars and i've put the cute little plain fairy light archway just to go between them i just think it looks really really nice it looks like you have to walk under it and go to the spooky house which is my house of course want to know something i was actually thinking about having two resident rep houses and then i remembered i'd have to decorate both of those before i set the DA so I've decided not to. <laughs> I can't believe I even thought about it. I was considering it. No, no. Do you know what? Hats off to anyone who has more than one resident rep house on their island and fully decorates the houses. How do you do it? How do you find the motivation and the willpower to do more than one? I struggle with just one and even then sometimes I block the rooms off because I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't think I've fully decorated a whole house in a while. Probably been a few islands. I know I definitely haven't done it on the last three islands I'm sure. Who knows? Do you know what I do? I always sit and think randomly about different island themes I'd love to do. And I know I asked a question the other day on my community post, but I was thinking to myself, can you imagine if you had to make an island based around a theme of the game you last played that wasn't Animal Crossing? It could be a really fun, but really hard idea. I, mean, I played Cult of the Lamb last, so I'd have to make an island based on that. And I don't know, that'd be kind of fun to try, I guess. But yeah, I like to come up with random ideas like this that will never actually happen, so. Yeah, it's all just a bit of fun, really. Oh, while I'm stood here, look how cute those little crates look with the little ghost sticker on and the danger sticker on. I love those. It kind of makes them look like they're spooky boxes and I'm here for that. Now, by the way, I'm going to go back and forwards a little bit because I was deciding what I wanted to put in this area. And you'll see in a minute, I do something a bit odd, a bit strange, but it's all good. I'll explain why I'm doing it when I'm doing it. But we're just going to go and fill some more of these natural items around the area. So this whole house section feels overgrown and unkept like I normally like to have my islands most of the time so yeah that's just what I want to do. I'm not going to be decorating behind my house today because I'm not too sure what I want to put there. Knowing me I'll probably 
just end up putting wheat fields, decayed trees, normal trees, that sort of thing. But we are going to be decorating this little pumpkin patch. I didn't have any pumpkins grown through already. I had to plant them in this video, as you probably saw. But that's okay. They'll grow through. They'll look cute. Now, to make even bigger pumpkins in the area, I've decided to use the spooky trick lantern and also the normal spooky lantern and just turn them around and turn them off so they're not glowing to make them look like giant pumpkins have grown in that little pumpkin patch and it's just so cute i've seen so many people do this before and i also did this on my farm court island and also a previous fall island i did and yeah there was no brainer to do it in this island as well so i know i said i wasn't going to decorate behind my house but i will be doing this one thing i've got a decorative pillar and i've put the little owl clock on there and he looks so adorable and hopefully this works out so when you look up he's just peering through like a spooky little blabbers owl and i love it I'm going to be doing that everywhere on this island, I think. Back to the front of the house. And I'm going to be working on that little section just in front. But I did pop some cute little cookies outside my front door. And then I feel like this needs more pumpkins outside. So not only have we got spooky lanterns, we've got spooky standing lanterns and spooky lantern set. Because why not? It just looks cute. Also had to chuck in a pumpkin tower there just for fun. And another one just here just to have even more pumpkins now over here i wasn't sure what i was going to do at first but i've decided to go with it this is a slime path and this was made by sonia over on instagram she used this on her kid call halloween island last year and she actually made this and it's so amazing look how detailed it is and it's just so cute now i basically want to have a story on my island where slime is an issue i'm not going to go too much into it i'll probably have to do a video about the story of it but yeah the slime is coming out of the well what are we gonna do about that? This is a big issue. And apparently I bottled it up and put it on a barrel outside my front door. I'm gonna go and give this to Isabel and Tom Nook and see what they have to say about it because I feel that this could be a serious issue for the island and its residents. We're gonna have to look into this. I'm really hoping nothing too sinister is going on in this island, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I wonder if Shep knows. He seems to be here around my house while the slime is here. Hmm, maybe we should question him and see what he knows about the slime. Anyway, before we discover more about the slime in a future video, I'm just putting some wheat field, of course, around the well to make it look what we're we gonna say overgrown of course because that's how i love to do things now and then yeah i'm just basically filling these rest of these areas with flowers weeds and of course the infamous leaf piles because they're the best item okay i said it so just while i'm going around popping down some flowers weeds and bushes still i just want to ask you guys do you want to see any interior decorations like do you want to see some happy home paradise spooky builds do you want to see me decorate my villager houses do you want to see me decorate my house let me know what you want to see i'm always up for trying new video ideas and just new things in general so yeah let me know what you think what sort of videos would you like to see also if there's like another game or something i do want to add new games to this channel soon so keep an eye out for those there's a really awesome game that's coming out very very soon and i know you guys are gonna love it so yeah hold on for that because that will be on this channel for sure to be honest some of you probably already know what it's gonna be because you're in my stream but yeah i'm so excited hold on till september now i realize you can't really see what i'm doing behind this vertical board fence i'm just literally putting down some bushes flowers wheat filled items and things like that just to fill that area in and then obviously we've got some leaf piles just outside of the entrance to my house and then i've just got this little bit of untouched piece of land here that's going to annoy me if i don't put something on there so we're going to put some bushes on there some weeds flowers because it will literally bother me if it's not covered and it will just get covered in weeds anyway because we just grow everywhere but we have finished the build so let's take a little look around So there it is, we have finished building the area around my house. I hope you enjoyed this build today. It was so much fun to build this area as usual. I love all the pumpkins. I love anything pumpkin though. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Also, comment down below, what was the last video game you played other than Animal Crossing? Cause that will be your next island theme. Now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the Jellybean family. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.